What is going on, you guys? Steve with the video for you today. So today we're going to do a PC video for you. And I got quite a bit of show to show you guys. So uh, yeah, let's cut into it here. Here we got uh, here we got uh, and it's like an autograph picture of Andy Pafco, and I got that from Picker Jim S, our guy from uh, I think it was a few Christmases ago. So I really appreciate that, Jim. I know I showed it in the past, but nice to refresh it and share it again. You know, Jim's such a great guy and somebody who I can who I communicate with, uh, you know, outside of videos, so that's really nice to do. We text each other every so often. So yeah, there's a Andy Pafco autograph picture. And then over here we have the, his 1954 Bowman sign. There you can see the signature on the left-hand side going bottom to top. And it's cool. You know what I like is, uh, you know, the three I got here is it's the Braves, Cubs, and Dodgers. His three big teams, so yeah, it's really nice to have uh, Pafco autographs in the collection. And over here we have uh, the 1952 tops of Pafco. This is a pretty chase card because uh, it's it was the number one card, number number one in the 52 tops set. So it's uh, you know it's a pretty desired card overall. And I know Tony Black, he's talk about finishing up the Pafco uh, player run. And as am I, I think the only ones I'm missing are his, uh, let me think here, I don't have anything down, the 51 tops and the 57 tops. But a uh, little bit about Pafco, his nickname was Handy Andy. He had a 285 career batting average, 213 home runs, 1,796 hits, 976 RBIs, and 844 runs. And he was also a five-time All-Star and in the Cubs Hall of Fame. So there is some Pafco. Let's go to uh, kind of one of these little stands. And here is the 1955 Tops of Bob Turley. So Bob Turley, uh, he won the Cy Young, and he was a World Series MVP in 1958. You know, I really like the... The 55 design in this Turley works for me, even though it's like white to yellow, kind of, you know, left kind of whitish and then goes into yellow. But yeah, this card just really works for me. And I love that Yankees emblem up there on the top left. Moving along to some 1961 tops, Jackie Brandt. So Jackie Brandt was born in Omaha, Nebraska, and he is still alive and doing well from what I understand from TTMers. And they have him kind of pinned down in the Florida area. But I do hear he comes back to Omaha occasionally and will hit up some Storm Chaser games. But I uh, really like this card with the blue skies and then that old school Orioles logo on his sleeve. It's a pretty neat card. Here is the 1964 Topps card to Carl Yastrzemski. You know, one of the all-time... Uh, greats for the Red Sox organization and probably one of the greatest players of all time in baseball history in all honesty. So there is the 64 Yaz. Here is the 1972 Topps card of the Say Hey Kid Willie Mays. You know, it's uh, everyone talks about Willie Mays and Hank Aaron Mickey Mantle, so I'm not going to get a lot of stats on on this card, but you know, I, this is just classic pose. I love it, man. Holding the bat over the shoulder and, uh, you know, Willie not really smiling, but kind of giving a grin. So, yeah, there is the 72 Willie Mays. Next, we got the 1979 Tops card of uh, Dennis Eckersley, nickname Eck. And one one thing about him that I always kind of knew it, but uh, he was the first pitcher in baseball history to get 20 wins in a season and 50 saves in the same season. And also, I just love that Red Sox logo on his, his jacket. I used to have a Cubs jacket exactly like that almost. So that's pretty cool. Back when I was a little guy. Here is the 1984 Topps card to Lee Smith. Uh, Lee Smith was actually the first pitcher to get 400 career saves, and he was elected into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 2019. And, you know, he just—he was a 
primary role in baseball was as a closer where he'd come in and pitch, you know, in the ninth inning and man, he just Hall of Fame voters just don't give any love to closers in baseball. So there's the nineteen eighty four Lee Smith. Going on to the 1988 Fleer card of Will Clark. Now this is probably my second favorite Will Clark picture on cards outside of his 1989 Topps card. That's probably my favorite. But uh, Will Smith, you know, another another one of those guys that I think should be getting a little bit more of a Hall of Fame look with, you know, the modern day guys that are getting getting in there. So there's his 88 Fleer. And also, we're getting into the 90s here. So here's the 1994 Bowman's Best of Cal Ripken Jr. Man, Cal Ripken Jr., one of my guys. And, uh, you know, the 90, 1990s Bowman's Best are some of the best cards, I think. And even today's era, Bowman's Best look really nice. But just really like this card and love Cal Ripken Jr. Staying in the 90s with the uh, 1998, so this is the Top Stars, King Griffey Jr. Um, probably one of my favorite Top Stars years, you know, design and looks wise. I just, you know, I love the stars in the background and it makes it better that's that's Griffey, one of the all time greats to play the game and love that Mariners color and logo. Now we're into the 2000s. This is the, the 2000 Top's Finest uh, Dreamcast of Sammy Sosa. So what I like about this, man, it's like a it's like a silver ocean going on in the background there with Sosa swinging the bat. Um, you know, I like Sosa, and I don't know, just that background really does it for me on this card. Again, early 2000s and 90s at its finest back-to-back. Moving right along to the 2003 Topps card of Tim Salmon. You know, an eventual player spotlight for me, as, as are most of these guys that I'm sharing, and the guy coming up next after Salmon. But yeah, I like Salmon, and you know, he was part of those dominant Angels teams back in the 90s and 2000s. And here we got some Randall Grichuk. Uh, here is his 2020 Tops opening day. So this is like a super short print. I found that out from uh, um, Greg Tiger 727 He did some looking up. And you got the Maple Leafs, the Canadian Maple Leafs on the side there. And just a different image and opening day. Pretty cool looking card. Then we'll put in the uh, 2020 Tops, high, uh, Tops Now highlight card. So uh, Grichuk had, in 2019, he had 31 home runs. So... You know, he's got a lot of power under him. I think he's like one of the most undervalued and underappreciated players in baseball. But, uh, man, he can he can do well against lefties, so there is some Grichuk. Glad the Diamondbacks signed him, too. And we will end it with some Max Scherzer. Here's a 2022 uh, Topps Image Variation of Scherzer. Guaranteed Hall of Famer. Really like him. He's kind of a class act dude. Appreciate your guys' support and take care. Thanks again.